Colombian police on the move. Since Venezuela announced the reopening of legal crossings in the border city of Cúcuta, hundreds of policemen have been tasked with cracking down on Venezuelans using illegal paths to enter into Colombia. Officers dismantled dozens of improvised bridges over the river dividing the two countries. Here you can see what's left of the makeshift crossings that they had built. Thousands used these paths during the four months in which Venezuela shut the border, often having to pay a fee to criminal gangs to cross. Colombian authorities had so far turned a blind eye on undocumented Venezuelans, but not anymore. These men were caught in the country without proper documents and will be deported. I came here hoping to be able to work and send money back to Venezuela. Things are very difficult back home. I have three kids and my wife to take care of. Security has been heightened on the legal bridges as well. In response, the Venezuelan government announced it will also start to require migration cards for Colombians traveling to Venezuela. But Venezuelan migration authorities here on the Simón Bolívar Bridge are telling us off camera that the digital platform necessary to issue these cards is not working yet and the new requirements have been postponed. Cucut has become a lifeline for up to 40,000 Venezuelans who cross in search of affordable basic food items and medicine on a daily basis. At least 4 million have left Venezuela for good in recent years. For the moment, the crossings remain open just to pedestrians. Trailers that the Venezuelan government laid across the bridges to block them remain in place, creating long queues. But it's an improvement. I had to cross on the path many times and it was very dangerous, very scary. Now with the bridge open, even with the container still in place, it creates a bottleneck. But despite it all, things are much better. A small consolation for the tens of thousands that need this border to remain open to survive, as the crisis in the country sees no end in sight. Alessandro Rampietti, Al Jazeera, Cúcuta.